y'all. It's the final day for me here in Kentucky. It's about 2.45 in the morning. Headed up to a new piece, um, to a new area. Not the steer going back to bed. In reality, in the footage, you can see that the deer did not stop and continues downhill into the bottom. Some white belly hair. It's like this yellow green tint. Can't even get it to focus. On the air. let that deer lay for a while and I'm gonna go pack up camp and stuff so I'm ready to roll out of town whenever, whenever I find him. Um, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, I'm gonna hang out, I'm gonna relax, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna go and get this deer. And I realize I got two cell or two cameras out and I gotta go find a knife and my strap from last night. I love setting cameras low to the ground like this now. Alright, so I'm going in after my versus strap. And then I'm going to take the long loop out.
pull my camera and hopefully pick up my gut knife on the way out. picked up camera number two um literally nothing on it but me so headed back trying to find my knife in the car and go get that book hope so as we sit now we're at five hours on well four and a half hours on the shot and uh by the time we get in there it should be right around five and a half, six there's by the time we recover. So um, a lot of people are gonna be forcing my confidence on the shot now and saying it's a dead deer. So hopefully it's piled up somewhere not far. So just getting back up here where I shot this deer this morning. It's about, I don't know, 100 yards more in here with Matt. It's gonna help me find them. Feel pretty good about it now. Okay, I think we're just down from the tree I shot him out of about 30 yards away. This is our first bug we found in the spot he stopped first. So it's dried. It looks like some good blood. There's a decent amount here. He walked downhill, so we're just gonna slowly follow that. He should be down at the bottom somewhere. I got up here, I went and did some scouting. More than thankful to Matt to come along and help me track this deer and pull him out. Turns out I, we think he hit liver and then went through guts coming out on the back. The hit was pretty far back and basically mid belly, but the shot was right in the crease. I, don't, I must have hit rib, rib and deflected or he did quarter hard, but he's gutted. I need to get him home on ice. First velvet buck. <laughs> What's up guys? Thanks for watching from Kentucky. I am one of the last ones that remains. Um, just finishing packing up the remainder of the gear and got to get on the road soon, soon, soon. Thanks for watching. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Um, yeah, tell somebody about public things.